guys welcome back to my channel today's video we are going to be doing some halloween nail art i did do my nails the other day and i did film it so these are the nails i'm wearing for halloween or i might be switching it up by the time halloween comes around so i did two different themes i did the nightmare before christmas on this hand and then i did just kind of a miscellaneous Halloween. Don't mind this finger. It kind of came off already since I did it, but there's a reason for that. <laughs> if you are new here, I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos and let's get started. Like I said, I did two different themes, so I did kind of separate them as I filmed them. So first we will be doing my right hand, which is the Nightmare Before Christmas, and then next we will do my left hand, which is just the miscellaneous Halloween Skittle Manny. The weird thing is, is that my right hand tends to always look better than my left hand, which makes zero sense because I am right-handed, so you would think my left hand would look better, but I might be doing my right hand slower because it is my left hand, so maybe I'm more precise doing it that way. Who knows, but this hand actually turned out really good. This hand kind of turned out looking like a second grader did it, but what are you gonna do? So I did use polish for all of the bases, and then I did some stamping, I used some stencils, and then I did use acrylic paint to kind of paint on some of the details on here. And before we get into this, do not mind the mess that I made, you will see in the video. Like I said, I was using acrylic paint, so it kind of got everywhere, and then I kept on touching it with my hands and somewhere else, and I would just rub it everywhere. So there's going to be paint on the table. Well, not table. I put paper over the table, so there's going to be paint all over the paper, and you will see I tried to kind of crop it out a little bit, but it's still there. I mean, whatever. It's paint. It came off, and it was all over my hands, too, so... I did do a lot of cleanup, so you will also see that the difference between the final look and kind of the creative process, I guess you would say. So enough talking by me, let's get into the nail art. Starting with my right hand, I am using KL Polish Paper Snow and I am painting my pinky nail, my middle finger, and then my pointer finger with that white polish. I'm just giving it a quick one coater. I will put two coats on the middle finger, but then the ring finger I am using Glisten and Glow's Little Black Dress and that's pretty much a one coater on its own. And then for the thumb, I am using China Glaze Recycle. And this is a jelly-like polish, but it does even out on that second coat. I am using a little nail art brush. You can really buy these on any website, even on Amazon, or you can just take a paintbrush and use that. But I am using acrylic paint here, so I'm using the purple, yellow, and I'm also using a green this is my Sally nail, so this is to look like her dress, how everything is all kind of quilted and stitch it, stitched up. I'm just going over that with a second coat, and you do have to be careful because the paint has to dry completely underneath before you put that second coat, or it will kind of pull the color off from underneath, which you kind of saw that it does have that kind of white patchiness to it. So I'm just giving them all a really good cover and then you can see when it dries, it dries matte. And then using that same brush and some black acrylic paint, I am just kind of lying the intersections between the colors and this is going to be the stitches. So then I'm going to draw the stitches here as well. You don't really have to be too precise with this since it is a little bit messy. Her dress is very messy. So you can do this however way you want. You can also use different colors if you want to. I just chose these three. So then the ring finger is going to be that moon and silhouette that you see on the movie cover. So I'm just using the yellow acrylic paint, acrylic paint and drawing out the moon. I did have to do a couple coats of this because the yellow was a little bit thinner, especially with the black underneath. You have to make sure that the black does not come through. Then I am drawing out the mountain or hill silhouette here, 
And keep in mind that this is my left hand, so it is going to be a little bit sloppy and slower, but the final result ends up being fine, so you can do this any way you want. But it's really not that difficult if you have any sort of pen. And again, if you're using your dominant hand, it will probably be a little bit easier than using your non-dominant hand like this. So I did have to go a little bit slower and the process was a little bit different than with my other hand, but it still ended up being fine. And then my middle finger is going to be the Jack Skeleton finger. So I'm just painting two ovals for his eyes with the black acrylic paint. And then I am going to add two little nose slits with that black paint as well. And then I'm going to go right into the mouth, his wide smile, and then he has all of the stitches similar to the Sally nail. So just kind of do that same thing with all of these stitches. So you just make any little lines you want, however many you want. And then the pinky is going to be Jack Skeleton's outfit, so or his little suit. <laughs> And I'm just using striping tape. I did have thicker stencils, but I wanted to use the striping sti striping tape because they would be thinner lines. And I'm just using that glistening glow little black dress paint. And then I'm going to pull that off so you can see the striping pattern and note all the paint all over the place. <laughs> and then I am going with the thumb. These are What's Up Nails stencils. And this is going to be a graveyard. So I'm just putting that on the edge of my thumbnail. And then I'm using that same little black dress. And I'm filling in all of those spaces in the stencil. And then you have to be really careful with removing it just so it doesn't pull the pattern away. And that is completing the right hand. Now the Halloween Skittle side, and I'm using Paint and Polish Stamped in Greenery for the green on my pinky. And then Essie at the helm for the orange on the ring finger. And then I'm also using the same polishes from my right hand, the Glisten and Glow little black dress for my middle finger, and then I also used KL Polish Paper Snow for my pointer finger for the white. And then the thumb I used Orly Saturated, so that is the purple, it is a jelly polish. It does dry matte, which you will see when I do the nail art. And then the pinky is going to be my Frankenstein nail, so I just took that black acrylic paint and then I drew a line across the edge of the nail and then drew the stitches. So there's a lot of stitching action going on in both of these. And then the ring finger is the jack-o'-lantern. So I did draw two little triangles for the eyes. And I did have a stencil for this, but I decided, I decided to just do it freehand because why not? And then I did a little triangle for the nose. And then I drew out the mouth. So the mouth I had to do twice because the first one did not turn out so great. But the good thing about using acrylic paint is that you can just scratch it right off, especially if it's over a nail polish that already has a top coat on it. It will just scratch right off that, so that was a little bit easier. It is not as precise as I would have wanted, but oh well, you still get the picture. You can tell that it's a jack-o'-lantern, so it's fine. So then the pointer finger is just going to be some blood ripping. <laughs> so I just used some red acrylic paint and this was a little bit messier because I wanted it to be. It doesn't have to be precise because it's blood. It'll just drip wherever it goes. So I used the red and then I did end up mixing it with black to get it a little bit darker, more like blood. And I did kind of make a little bit of a mess, but ended up being fine because again, it's supposed to look like blood. So it kind of going everywhere was fine. And then the middle finger is going to be just a skeleton stamp. So this is a What's Up Nail stamp, and then I used a Born Pretty Store stamper, and then the little card there. So I'm just stamping that using the white onto my middle finger, and there you go. Simple as that. And then the thumb is going to be my spider web and spider. So I just used the white acrylic paint drawing the web strands or strings. <laughs> You can make this however small you want or however big you want it. I kind of had an idea in my head and then I kind of changed my mind so it turned out to be something a lot different. You can do this on the corner of your nail, across your entire nail, whatever you want. So just draw those little semicircles in between the straight web strings just to connect them. And then you can add a spider if you want to. I did. 
And I just drew an oval with the black acrylic paint for the body and then the little circle for the head. And then just draw the lines for the legs. I kind of drew them the wrong way the first time. So then the other side was correct and then I had to fix the other side once I figured that out. Then I used the white acrylic paint and I just drew two little dots for the eyes so you can see that it's a spider and that is it. These are the completed looks. That is my right hand, the Nightmare Before Christmas, and then the Skittle Manny on my left hand, the full Halloween Manny. So these are the completed looks. I love how they turned out, even though it was a messy process, but works for Halloween. So I hope you guys liked this little nail art tutorial. Let me know if you guys are interested in me doing more of these videos. Like I said before, I don't really do much nail art on a normal basis. I do it more so around the holidays. So I'm actually surprised that I didn't do more Halloween nail art, but my nails have been really crappy lately. So that's probably why when they got a little bit longer, I decided to do something fancy with them. But I will probably do more for Christmas. So maybe I'll do another video then. Again, let me know if you're interested in that. But that completes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye!